viewers, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Today, I'm going to show you a very simple yet different side dish. It's a brinjal with double means. I have the ingredients here. I have about 10 brinjals that I've sliced vertically. So these are actually dried double beans that have been soaking overnight. And uh, I have about two onions sliced, three tomatoes chopped, some salt, turmeric powder, chili powder, garam masala, coriander powder, ginger garlic paste, some oil, and whole spices. So first we're gonna cook the double bean. We're gonna pressure cook it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water. So I'm just gonna pressure cook this. So while that's getting cooked, let's start by sauteing the onions. Add about one and a half, two tablespoons of oil. To add the whole spices. It's a relatively simple side dish. Something different from the usual brinjal side dish. The only extra is the double beans, which adds a, gives a whole different flavor. Adding one green chili. Cut it into half. And I'm going to add a few curry leaves to this. The uh, tomatoes. I'm also going to add the ginger garlic along with this. You can add one teaspoon, a whole teaspoon. That should be enough. Just mix it up nicely. Now to this, I'm going to add the turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon. About a teaspoon of coriander powder, about a teaspoon of chili powder, and some salt. Just mix it. So the salt will help the tomatoes cook faster. So once the tomatoes are a little mushy, you can see they're getting mash nice and soft. So now is a good time to add the cut brinjals. Brinjals cook pretty fast, so you don't have to add them in the beginning. So mix it up nicely. Keep it on medium low. Just coat the masala. A little bit of salt, always check the seasoning when you think you're done. You may need a little salt. So I think it's all blended well. It's come out beautifully, I think it's done. I'm going to turn off the stove now. Transfer it into a nice serving dish. So the brinjal and double beans side dish is ready. I'm going to garnish it with a bit of chopped coriander leaves. You can have this side dish with chapati or with rice. It tastes great with both. Do send in your comments and feedback to home cooking at indianattracts.in and send us your unique and simple recipes to our show so we can also try them and show our viewers.